Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at contact. Now contact is the sampler that comes with complete. You have the player version of it if you've got the version that we've been looking at so far but there is also a full version of contact which is is much more powerful but we're just going to look at uh, why you would probably want to use it on its own rather than through uh, complete control. So firstly let's just create a new instrument track using complete control as already seen earlier in the series and I'm going to change from all instruments here just to contact and then in contact let's just look at drums and then in this case I'm going to pick funk kit okay so that's gonna give us a quick demo just like drummers do when you're trying to sound check and loading it up we can see we've got a fairly mundane control panel here We've got a few options which you can play around with, but it's just a fairly mundane thing and we don't really know what we're looking at. So we can play around on the keyboard. I've got a little keyboard attached. And we can see the instruments are changing what we've got. It follows a general MIDI pattern. So there on C, I've got that. So in fact, I'll do it on the on-screen keyboard briefly. So if we move down, so this one here, so you can see we're in this octave here, and then we've got C, which I'll play there. Snare on the D, which is played with the W, and then hi-hats. So it's a general MIDI drum kit. If you want to look that up, that's also pretty uh, a common thing, that the way the drums are mapped. However, we can't see some of the things that would make this much more useful, because if we play around a little further up the kit, and just press that one key, we realize, oh, we've got some patterns. So just like we've seen on other instruments, we've got some pre-made drum patterns, which we can use just by pressing the uh, single key. And they are tempo synced. So if we change the tempo by double clicking tempo here, you can see if I play the same thing now, we get that pattern, but it's not immediately apparent. And there's, there's quite a lot we can do by using contact directly so I'm going to close this I'll leave that available but if we had a new instrument track and load up contact here we can see contact itself so we're going to have a quick look at what we have in contact so in contact player we have the libraries which are part of the package you've already downloaded so we can see we've got some kinetic treat sounds, we've got some play series selection sound, and then we've got some more in the contact factory selection. So this actually has folders in it, which you can double click, and then you can see we've got these different things, including the funk kit we were just playing. So we'll come back to that in a second. On the right hand side, this is where your instruments would be. Now, you can load multiple instruments up in contact. So this is one of its great powers, but also it can be quite confusing early on if you're trying to use this and you're just getting into this. So I'm just gonna take this from the level of somebody who's who's just seen this and is probably looking slightly uh, surprised and rabbit in the headlights. So this is where your instruments are gonna appear. Now you don't need to worry about all the settings, MIDI channels, etc. If you just stick to this simple rule, this will just work. Now, later on, you can start experiment with using up multiple instruments and multiple outputs and so on. But for the time being, when you found a sound you want, in the left-hand side, you just double click it. So I'm gonna load up that funk kit. So we just double click it and you see, this is very similar to what you've already seen. We've got some extra stuff at the top, but this is the instrument interface we saw before with those options, with velocity curves, etc. And if we start playing it on the keyboard, we can see bass drum, snare, etc. That kind of thing. That's all as it was before. But there's one really useful thing and this this to me is the key why you'd want to use contact player rather than uh, complete control is if we go to this button here where we've got various things we can turn on and off. If you turn the keyboard on it gives you this wonderful colored in keyboard which gives you clues as to what is available for you. So these colors here, forgive me, I'm colorblind, so I'll probably misdescribe things, but these, this set of keys here 
shows that they've got patterns in there. So now you can see we've got all these different patterns and I can play them with this keyboard on screen. So, so there's the pattern we'd already heard and so on. So we can see straight away that playing these isn't going to yield anything worthwhile, but we know that we've got a whole octave's worth of different patterns, which I'm just going to put back at 120 so we don't all expire waiting for them to finish. And you can see the notes that it's playing while you're doing that. So this is quite a common thing for quite a few of these. You'll find there's little extra features. Now, sometimes there'll be things called key switches where when you press them, it changes the sound of the instrument. Other times it will be patterns and also you'll see that things are grouped together. But So it can be a really useful visual guide as to what's available for you and you don't lose anything. Uh, in, in using this. So uh, another thing that's quite nice with this, I find, is if I just want to go through these, I can just use this button here. So that's now loaded up the next one, jazz guitar, and we can see here, we're just getting some notes with some nice noise after them. Or jazz organ, you see we've got the full range of the keyboard available to us. And so on. So that's, for me, that's the main reason why I would use Contact Player rather than go through Complete Control because it allows me to see what's going on, gives me a little more control. Now, it's also possible to load up multiple instruments. So in the next video, what we're going to look at is how you can layer them inside here. So this, this that's sort of level two of, of use, but you can load up multiple instruments and we're going to see how to do that. So there's just a couple of things you have to set to do that. But that's a quick look at the very basics of Contact Player and why you would use it. Hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon.